everyone and welcome back to the video. My name is Emily and I have not done this um, in a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> so basically I've been very busy and I just haven't had the time to make videos which was really sad because I do really enjoy it. So hopefully I'm going to be back now, maybe not as regularly as before but hopefully actually posting videos. Um, there are some videos that I just haven't had a chance to edit that I have previously filmed so they will also be coming out at some point soon but yeah welcome to a new one that I haven't filmed yet because here we are. So today's video is um, one that I've wanted to do for a while and one that I've actually seen other people do and I've just taken inspiration from them. And it's getting to that time of year where it's getting Christmassy and if you are uh, like a fibre artist, a knitter, a crocheter or anything else to do with that, um, you will know that this is a big time because we like to make presents. Because that's what we do. So um, if you are only just starting to think about presents then I have a few ideas for you. Um, all of these, I'm, I'm going to be doing two videos, so this one is going to have a mixture of patterns that you have to pay for and potentially free patterns, um, but my other video that I'm going to do that's going to come out next week, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, all of the patterns are going to be completely free, so I'm trying to help people on all sorts of budgets because I know Christmas can be a tough time for some people and if you can make something with using yarn in your stash and using a free pattern then do it. <laughs> so this video there is going to be a mixture of free and paid for patterns um, for a mixture of crochet and knitting as well because I do both and so I thought it would be nice to include both in this video and yeah so also, if you do not celebrate Christmas, then the majority of these would be good all year round. There are a few Christmas related ones, but they're mainly going to be at the start of the video. So if you do not want to watch them, please skip forwards. I will not be offended. <laughs> so I also have all of the information on my laptop um, and all of the links to these patterns will be down in the description. So you can go and check them out and buy them and support people. And yeah. So if you see me looking down, it's because they're all on here. <laughs> And I, I don't know the information without here. So I will also try and pop up um, pictures on the screen when I can just to show you what the pattern actually looks like so that you have visual ideas as well. So without further ado, let's, let's jump in. The first few patterns that I want to talk about are actually like proper Christmas related patterns. The first one is the Christmas Baubles Volume 1 by Blue Sparrow Handmade. I also apologise if I do not pronounce any names right, I'm not very good at that. Um, so these are a bunch of crocheted baubles that you can make to hang on your tree or to gift to other people or you don't even have to make them as baubles, they could just be ornaments but they look so cute. So in the photos, you can see a little mince pie. Um, is it a mince pie or is it a Christmas pud? I think it's Christmas pudding, not a mince pie. Um, a little Christmas bauble and a Christmas tree as well. They look really cute. And I can tell that they've been used, they've been used, they've been made using like chenille yarn. So it's really fluffy, really cute. And I love them. Um, I also think that if you were to use this pattern, you don't have to use the exact same yarn because um, crochet is a lot more versatile when it comes to yarn. You don't really need to get gauge if you want the products to be or the items to be smaller or larger, then increase hook size, increase yarn size. It's a lot simpler. And especially with like these little almost like amigurumi style, I think that they are perfect and you don't have to put faces on them if you don't want to they are pretty much completely versatile which is really nice so yeah those were very very cute also 
all of the patterns that I am showing you today will be are, or are available on Ravelry um, that was where I found them and I use Ravelry a lot because it's sort of like all of your patterns are in one place um, so I thought that, that was like the first place I looked for patterns so yeah they're all on there if you wanted to know but they will also be linked down below so the next one is very very cute very very cute and it is the Christmas Bear by Ekaterina Popova I think um so this is a knitted pattern and it's a little knitted bear and again if you don't celebrate Christmas or if you wanted to use this pattern all year round you definitely could you don't have to make their outfits Christmassy you can just take the reindeer part off but so cute I haven't actually had a go at knitting like a bear or an animal or like a toy yet because I just feel like they're going to be quite complicated but I doubt it I don't know I've never tried it I'm a very beginner knitter still um but oh my goodness these are the most adorable things I've ever seen and it makes me really want to try knitting these bears so my next one is the Christmas stocking by Petite Knit um this looks like just the perfect like soft Christmas stocking um either to use or to have just as a decoration um I love the colour and the yarn that they've used um in the photos because it just looks very sophisticated I think so if you have sort of like an adult that you are making for that you want to make a Christmas stocking for then this might be better than a like really brightly coloured Christmas stocking if they're not really that sort of person um so yeah it's very subtle and you can also um pop the name on it if you wanted to or you could leave it blank and yeah I just thought it was so cute like it just looks beautiful so the next one I saw was also quite a sophisticated Christmas stocking but I feel like with some different colours you could make it a lot more I guess like fun I'm using the word fun like lightly I don't mean fun but like bold and bright so this is the Christmas stocking deer by Marina Hamel Hamel Niesporek I'm not very good at names um so this is also a knitted pattern um it is a beautiful Christmas stocking I love the use of their colours in this um in the photos and I also like the colour work it has little reindeers on it which is super cute and I also like the tassel which I think you will also be told how to make and the pom-pom as well I just think it all looks beautiful and comes together nicely Okay, so I also have another Christmas stocking. Um, when I was making this list, I obviously really liked the thought of making Christmas stockings for people. But this one is a pattern that is not overly Christmassy. So this is the Christmas Stocking 2020 by Pam Connolly. They're not very in-your-face stockings, which some people might like. Um, they're quite lovely. You can do them in any colour um, which is lovely they are all one colour um, but they do have some cabling involved which makes it a bit um, more advanced which I think would be quite nice and yeah I just think they look beautiful and you could have lots and lots of different colours and yeah I love it I think they just look so gorgeous very sophisticated for Christmas okay so this is the last um Christmassy related pattern I think let me double check yes this is the last Christmassy related pattern the others aren't like Christmas based so these are the Christmas lights socks by Barbara Nail Nail Co oh my goodness I love them <laughs> they're like on the edge of like cheesy Christmas and I really love that I think they are amazing um 
so they are just a pair of socks but they are quite um bold and bright and very Christmassy you could do whatever colours you want which I love I love the colour work in them I like the heel and the rib are different colours like I just I love it all so yeah I just loved how fun these looked so if you know somebody that loves a bit of cheese at Christmas this would be perfect for them so staying in the sock category there is also some called the chestnut socks by Isabella Gazibek um and these are a all one color sock although you could create a contrast heel toe and rib if you wanted to but they have a beautiful um design on them that doesn't look too tricky or daunting um i can see i don't know what the um the other part of the design is but they do use a rib throughout it's like a section of rib and then a section of the design so um i'm definitely going to give these a go at some point because they are like stunning oh i think it might be cables or cables in some some sense i'm not very clued up on cables sorry i just knocked the camera um but yeah these look beautiful i also love the color that they've done them in i feel like socks are a nice present as well but you do need to know the foot size of your um person that you are making them for which can make them a little bit more trickier but it's fine okay so the next ones um are the morning coffee socks by crazy sock lady designs on ravelry these are just some lovely these are more basic socks i would say they look like they've got um some sort of rib going on um but not like a conventional one it might be like three by one or something I don't I don't know how ribs work <laughs> um and something that I love about these is that you can use any type of yarn well when I say any type of yarn any color of yarn um obviously these are for like fingering weight or four ply socks but um you can use any type of yarn any color of yarn that you have in your stash so you don't specifically need certain colors um which is lovely so you could make them plain you could make them colorful you could use scraps like anything okay and the last socks that um i have i fell in love with these are called the cake pop socks by oakwood knits they are beautiful they um have pops of color throughout but it is in a sort of structured design which i like i like it when you can see a repeating pattern i don't particularly like random things I like it when you can see it's been repeated and in these you can um in the photos they've done different colors per sock so that you don't have them matching but obviously you can do them however you like and I just love them I think they look really cool and I'm definitely gonna give these a go at some point also I've just looked at the sizes available for these and they go from toddler up to an XL adult so quite a nice size range if you are wanting socks for little ones as well so the next category that i'm going to be showing you are gloves i think gloves are a perfect little gift especially like handmade gloves like if somebody made me some gloves that's amazing so um i thought i'd include a couple um because i feel like gloves are a lot easier to make than socks size wise like yes people's hands can vary but roughly you know what sort of size they're gonna need and it doesn't matter if they're a little bit big um because they'll be comfy and cozy and they're perfect for going into winter as well so the first ones that i saw were the gloves with fingers or fingerless so it's like a two-in-one pattern by mary gehring um these are knitting and um they just look gorgeous just saying they're like a really basic simple glove which i really wanted to find a pattern for and also the fingerless ones they are like knitted around each finger instead of just one long band which i also quite like i feel like they are more snug that way um so yeah these look are really beautiful you can use them for scrap yarn you can use them for any type really um these are a dk weight as well so they will work up pretty quick as well 
And the next gloves that I saw were Gloves Maze by Arena. Oh, Cosmayako. Cosmayako. Let's go with that. And these ones are, they look like regular gloves, but they have a beautiful pattern on the back. So um, they use cables on the back to create this really like intricate design and I really love it. I just think they look beautiful. And um, yeah, these ones look pretty long, but I am guessing you could maybe make them shorter. And I don't know. You would have to get the pattern and find out. Okay, so another amazing present to make someone is a scarf. Now, scarves are super simple, obviously, depending on what a design you pick, but um, the majority of the time they are a repeating pattern. So the first scarf I came across was the Brioche, no, no, the Brioche Scarf Chunky by Helen Beber, Bieber. This looks like a smaller scarf or like a skinnier scarf um as you can see from some of the photos but it looks lovely now some people really don't like a brioche um stitch but i really do i haven't finished anything in brioche but i have had a go at knitting in brioche and i really really enjoyed it so um also, this is in a DK weight, so it will knit up quite quickly. So yeah, if you're looking for an easy scarf, then I think that one would be perfect. So the next one is the Sophie Shawl by Petite Knit. This one um, is just a bigger version of the Sophie scarf, which is the little neck um, scarf. This one is like a full size scarf. I wouldn't call it a shawl. I would call it a scarf. Each their own. <laughs> um, uh, this one is in worsted weight and um i just love how it looks it's a um if i'm not wrong it's like a garter stitch so it is all knit and then it has an eye i do apologize my um phone stopped recording because i ran out of storage Woo what was i saying oh i only know about the eye cord because i made the sophie scarf Anyway, moving on. <laughs> the next one is called, I love the name of this one, it's called the Focaccia Shawl um, by Chris Berlin because I love Focaccia. <laughs> so this one just looks insane. Like, it just looks so cool. I have no idea how to even go about making this in my brain. Um, but I love the look of it. I just think it looks so unique, so different and I don't even know what to say about it. I just love it. It just looks stunning. And I think anybody who received this would be very, very grateful. <laughs> so the next scarf I have is the Scarf of Many Colours by TL Crafts and Designs. Um, this is a knitted one and I feel like this would be perfect if you do have a lot of scrap yarn lying about or you know somebody that is very, very colourful and loves everything bright and beautiful um the use of color in this i think is really cool i love the sections i love what the sections look like as well there's a lot of color work in this so if you do love color work projects then this would be perfect um or if you want to i'm guessing this is intarsia intarsia knitting um so if you want to practice that then i think this would be a really good project for that Okay, so the final scarf is the Scarf Cable Infinity Scarf. Um, so this is by Bromefields, I think. Um, and it is an infinity scarf, which means that it doesn't have two ends. It is just one big loop. And this one looks really, really cosy. That is why I picked it. It is cables, it is chunky, it is bulky, and it just looks amazing. Um... So yes, I would also recommend this one if you wanted to, or if you know somebody that needs or loves a chunky scarf, um, then I would recommend this. It just looks beautiful. Okay, so the next section that I'm going to go into is hats. Um, and the first one is the hipster hat by Petite Knit. I think this is just a really simple design that I think would be suitable for anybody. 
it looks like um, a rib pattern which um, works up really quick in my brain like whenever I do anything with rib I just feel like I just fly through it um, and it has a turn up at the front which I'm guessing you could also take out um, if you knew that the person receiving the gift wouldn't like that but I think it is just beautiful I love the look of it it looks really clean it looks really simple um, and I think anybody would love this next up is the alpine bloom hat by Caitlin Hunter this one is very different to the hipster hat it is all there <laughs> it is insane color work um, I love the look of it I think it's got a beautiful design and I think any two colours you use would look great in this hat. Um, you can see that they've used like a bunch of different colours, um, tried out different combinations and I think they all look really really good. So yeah if you know somebody that is, loves patterns, loves designs then um, I think this one would be perfect. And the final hat is the Brioche Bun Hat by The Baking Knitter Designs. I think this one just looks like a super simple beanie that anybody would love to own. Um, I can also see that they have used mohair so you can use it either with or without the mohair depending on what you want the outcome to look like. Um, but yeah it just looks really super simple, lovely and cosy and just a lovely basic hat. Okay and my final pattern is if you have a little bit more time and a little bit more money to spend um on yarn and on patterns and on your time if you have more time this is perfect for you this is the oh honey honey sweater um by jenny fennel and oh my goodness it's gorgeous <laughs> i love it it looks beautiful it looks chunky it looks cozy it looks soft and the design is just lovely it just looks lovely like I came across this when I was looking for patterns for this video and it's now on my wish list of something to make I love it I have no idea how she'd make it but I love it it's got cables it's got like this honeycomb design on the front which is my favorite part um and yeah I just love it so if you have a lot more time to um, make your Christmas presents then maybe you would consider a sweater. <laughs> okay so those are all of the patterns that I have to share with you today. Um, I hope this may have helped with your Christmas making present list <laughs> um, and yeah if you are going to make any of these patterns please let me know down below or let me know what you have made already for Christmas and I know this video may be a little bit late for some of you I know I like to be very prepared for Christmas so I started making my presents in August <laughs> because I know I wanted to make them and I knew they needed to be done however if some of you are not like that then let me know if you're going to try any of these out or let me know if you're going to try any of these out for maybe a birthday present or a different occasion. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you later. Bye!